Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am just going to jump straight into this video. I already moisturized my face with my vitamin E skin cream. And I'm applying my NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone to my eyelids first. And then I will just be taking my Maybelline Fit Me finishing powder and I'm going to set that eyeshadow base with that. The reason I set my eyeshadow base with a finishing powder, I don't know if you caught it in my last video, but it's just to get rid of any creasing that might happen because this is a very thick eyeshadow base. So I just wanna get rid of any creasing with that. Taking my Morphe 35V palette, the Stunning Vibes palette, I'm going to pick up the shade Trist and I'm going to work that into my crease first. Going into the shade Seduced, I don't know why I love these shade names so much, but I'm going to pick that shade up and I'm going to blend out the Trist shade with that, but I'm going to blend up towards my eyebrows. I'm just going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 26 and I'm going to cut my crease with that, but I advise you to use a white concealer, a more white concealer or an eyeshadow base. I should have used my NYX eyeshadow base in white because the shade that I picked up after cutting my crease, it, it would have showed up a lot better on white. Wow, I think I actually got them the same this time. After spritzing my brush with a bit of setting spray, I'm going to pick up the shade Three Little Words. And like I said, this would have showed up a lot better on a white eyeshadow base because you can barely see anything I'm doing here. If you look at the brush, you can see just how much product I picked up and it still didn't do me any justice. But oh well, just going back into the shade Trist, I'm going to blend in the outer corners right into that Three Little Words shade. When I'm done with that, I will take a pencil brush and I will mix the shades Seduced and Trist and I'm just gonna clean up the edge, the little skinny edge right on top of the cut crease. And then I'm just gonna take more of the three little words and blend that into the Trice shade on the outer corners. Taking Shameless and First Date, I'm going to mix them together and use that as the highlight under my brow. And for a bit of extraness, I'm going to take this NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in Vivid Petal and I'm just gonna line the crease with that. This might be a weird angle for you guys, but I was just trying to get as close to the camera as possible so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Once that's done, I'm just going to add a simple winged line with my Epic Ink Liner from NYX. When you've finished your wing, you can go ahead and remove your tape and add your lashes. And when I'm done with my lashes, I am going to go back in with that Epic Ink Liner and hide the band of the lash just because I used a white glue this time instead of my black. I'm just going to clean up any fallout here and then I'm just going to finish the rest of my face. I don't know how many times I'm going to say just and next and afterwards, but I kind of irritate myself when I'm doing these voiceovers, if you can't tell. I used my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and mixed it with my Makeup Revolution Foundation and buffed that out with a beauty blender. Then I took my ColourPop No Filter Concealer that we used to cut our crease and I'm going to blend that out with my handy dandy concealer brush. To contour, I used my Ulta Beauty Cream Contour Kit in the Deep Contour 2 shade. Then I'm going to set my under eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder in 30 Medium Deep just so I can finish the rest of my eyes. I took the shade Rendezvous because I thought I wanted that as my little pop of color because I've been seeing it a lot lately, but I just wasn't feeling it when I was filming, but it's actually cute now that I'm editing it. I should have left it like that. So instead, I just wiped it off with a baby wipe and then I packed on a ton of finishing powder just to get rid of any blue that might still be there. And instead... I took the shade Seduced and I put that under the eye and blended it out just to give a little smoky effect. And for my pop of color, I took my NYX Dublin palette and took this pretty green shade that I'm sure you guys have seen before and I popped that on the inner corner. I definitely should have used a lot more 
so it can be more vibrant because once it was all finished it just looked a bit plain it was cute but it was still just not enough of a pop of color if that makes sense I'm just going to add some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I'm going to finish up the contour or set my contour with my mega glow contouring palette from wet n wild that I've showed you a million times and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my LA colors mineral press powder and I promise I did not forget blush this time I used my wet n wild blush and mellow wine to set everything, I took my NYX Dewy Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray that everywhere generously to the point where I can't breathe anymore. And for highlight, I took my Wet n Wild, I don't know what it's called, their highlighting powder in Golden Flower Crown. I just used my Beauty Blender to sort of push the highlight into the skin so it doesn't look so streaky. For the lips, I took my Jasmine LaBelle Metallic Lip Gloss and I don't even know the shade name, I'm sorry, but I just used this to finish off the face. And once you're done, everything's finished.